World War II ended and the Allies had control in Berlin. Hitler committed suicide. Some people said he took cyanide with his wife and committed suicide. Others believe they shot themselves in the head. But there was nothing to prove any of that. Or it might have happened and they didn't tell us. Hitler's bunker was taken over by the Soviet army and the Russians said that Hitler committed suicide. And obviously, a lot of people didn't believe that. And they said, before they got to Berlin, Hitler had escaped towards Argentina. Let's just say Hitler escaped. Why did he choose Argentina? And another question, where did the Argentina theory come from? There is a lot of questions and theories like this. Didn't the Russians take control of the bunker? Didn't Hitler kill himself? But why were the Soviets dodging questions and they wouldn't properly say what happened to the dead body? There was no picture or any type of proof shown. They believed the Argentina story came from Stalin himself. Stalin didn't tell the public, but he told the people that were close to him. An English historian by the name of Trevor Roper got extremely curious in this situation and started to research it. He said in his writings that the Russians used this suicide as an excuse to make themselves look more powerful. And he continues and says Hitler wasn't in his bunker. They asked Stalin what happened to Hitler but he would never give a proper answer. And after World War II, Trevor Roper knew that a war was gonna begin. And that's between the US and the USSR. And that's because they didn't call it the Cold War back then. Roper continues and says, USSR knew that this war was gonna take place, so they were using every excuse to make themselves look better. And that includes Hitler's dead body. And the Argentina came from the people that were close to Stalin himself. As you guys know, most historians say Hitler killed himself in the bunker. The same story that the Soviets said. But a lot of people did too much research about this, including Trevor Roper. And they have other theories about what actually happened to Adolf Hitler. In the end of the 1940s and 1950s, a lot of Argentinians would say they've seen Hitler in Argentina. Back then, there was no cameras in people's hands. If it was today, there would be plenty of photos. After Argentinians started making these statements, the FBI went out there to check it out. The FBI agents interviewed all the people in Argentina that claimed to have a relationship or have seen Hitler, but they didn't get anywhere with their information. And there were a lot of stories that seemed like they were just made up. There were multiple stories that claimed Hitler came from Germany with a U-boat and he got offshore in a beach. And if you guys know anything about U-boats, it's that they can't get close to the beach. Either way, none of these stories added up until 2014 when the Grey Wolf book came out. This book is completely about Hitler's escape. In this book, it claims that Hitler and Eva Braun brought lookalikes and made them commit suicide in their bunker so they can easily escape. And they say they get in a U-boat and escape towards South America. The book continues and says the Argentinian vice president was Juan Perón and they claim they got money from the Nazi party and they were friends with Hitler. And that's the main reason Hitler went to Argentina. The book also claims that Juan Perón, because of Hitler, became president of Argentina in 1946. The writers in Grey Wolf wrote that Hitler did not die in 1945, but he died in 1962 in Argentina. The book continues and says, Hitler knew that the USSR and US got so powerful and it was not worth it to restart the Nazi regime. Even the writers themselves say, even though we did a lot of research, we can't prove anything. And that is why we can say that this book is just a story and it doesn't have anything to do with actual history. 
It was around the same time that the very famous History Channel started a new documentary called Hunting Hitler. In this show, they would send investigators all over South America to talk to local people that claimed to have a relationship with Nazis or even Hitler himself. This show didn't get anywhere either, because it was just a bunch of people saying, I've met Hitler, but they didn't have real proof. Eventually, a lot of people started to believe that Hitler and Eva Braun did kill themselves. Because the Russians still have a dead body of Adolf Hitler. And recently, a bunch of scientists went to Russia to examine Adolf Hitler's teeth. And what they found is very interesting. The teeth were in a way that completely matched Hitler's teeth. Because in 1945, the Americans had found paperwork about Adolf Hitler's teeth. And the dead body's teeth completely matched. The teeth's age also showed that it could belong to Hitler. Hitler's skull also shows that a bullet went through it. So the suicide did happen, but not with cyanide poisoning. Because if you remember, some people believe he poisoned himself. So this shows the USSR wasn't really lying. But we really don't know why the rumor of Argentina started by Stalin's close friends. Trump has one of the most famous sayings in Go media. Fake news. A lot of people believe that the Argentina story, the U-boat story, and living with the president of Argentina is all fake news. And the media just wanted to basically clickbait and sell their product. There's another conspiracy theory that you might find interesting. And that says that Adolf Hitler did not go to Argentina, but he went to Chile and he sent undercover agents to Argentina to claim that they have seen Hitler. And he was chilling in Chile. What do you guys think about this conspiracy theory? There must be more conspiracy theories about Hitler. So if you know them, please comment.